Mein Bunny. Das ist mein Daddy, Arzi. Du bist mein Bunny, aber du bist mein Bunny. Wo ist es denn zu dir, mein Daddy? I swear to God, whoever did this to my brother will pay the price. He will not go scot free. He will pay with his life and his entire generation. Do you understand me, Ami? <laughs> Just this morning. This morning. The mother. I had Sunday. I said, 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 I so now I'm left alone. I don't have a family. I don't have a family. I don't want to. Not alone. Uh, no. We are here with you. We are your family. <laughs> Stanley and Tolu, I ask you your siblings. No, please. No. I don't want my family. This police will feature out whoever did this. And they will pay for their wickedness. <laughs> please calm down. I want my family. <laughs> You have to come with us. Yes. You cannot stay here. No. no. Listen, Abby, please. You need the company of your family. Yes. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, no, no, no. Hold on. I mean, 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 you're coming, you're coming for me. I know my family. No. My family is coming. My mother can, she can never leave me. I am, I, do you know who I am to her? Yes, I do. I know, I know. She can come over with me. Come over. Just leave me alone. Don't take me alone. Don't come. Do you know who my mom is? I shall come. She loves me. My mother. You come. You come. You come. Just don't just tell me. I know. I know. Yes. You know. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, Stone, how could you make such a mistake? I told you there will be four of them. He told me to eliminate all occupants of the car. And that is exactly what I did. You never told me there will be four in the car. A girl survived. As long as she is alive. I will never be able to have my possession. That is your business. I did what you asked me to do. Look, Mr. Benga, I want my balance now. But she has to be eliminated. Get someone to do that job for you. I want my balance now. Stop. You don't understand. Who else can do this job better than you? 
You started it. You have to finish it. My balance. Now. You can't just back off like that. You. I will not repeat myself again. I say my balance now. Okay. It's all right. Just hold on. All right. Check your phone. Your balance is there. <sighs> yeah. Good evening. Good evening, dear. Hope you feel better now. Can I ever feel better again? Can I ever feel better when I am left alone in this wicked world? How can I ever feel better? My family are no more. I don't have any family, auntie. They are all gone. I wish I... I wish I left with them. No. Mommy, don't talk like that. You have to be strong. I know how hard it is right now. But you have to stay strong. You are the only surviving Daniels, and everything falls to you. You have to stay strong to handle the family assets and legacy. Thank God just did all that and return my family to me. I don't want any legacy. I don't want anything. I just want my family back. I just want them back. <sighs> Just this, don't trust me. You will. You are needed at the police station so they can officially hand over the corpses to us. They are corpses. So that we can take them, bury them, and they will be gone forever. And they will be Forever, I will not see my family again. I will not see any of them again. Come on now. Come on. Come down, okay? <laughs> Why did you do this is so bad? This is so bad. This is so bad. I don't want my family back. I don't want anything else. I want my family back. <laughs> <laughs> Your only brother was murdered in cold blood. And you're comfortable with this shabby police investigation? <sighs> Is that how less their life mean? <laughs> Mm. 
What am I supposed to do? Force them to continue investigating or reject the report that they gave? See, let me tell you. My major concern now is how to commit my brother and his family to Mother Earth so their souls can find eternal peace. I know God will haunt whoever killed them. Ami is heartbroken. She is empty. And there is no closure. Not even you, not even the police. You're not doing anything. This is wickedness. Maybe you don't know it. I'm, I mean, stronger than you think. Oh, come on. What Ami needs now is our support, which we are giving her. We are her family. Don't worry yourself. She will leave. Why are you wearing a mask? You call me Max. What do you want? I want you to I want you to eliminate somebody for me. The first killer tried to kill her family. Ended up leaving her alive. But I want you to eliminate her completely as soon as I possible. did not ask you for your family history. What do you want? Okay. I want you to eliminate her completely. Now, here is the address. You will find her in that place. If you find her with company, ensure that you eliminate everybody. I don't want any trust of witnesses. One millionaire. Part payment right now and half after the job is done. That's not a problem for me, as long as you can do a neat job. I want the job done well. Call me when you have the money.
Good afternoon, Mr. Um, Felix. Yeah. Good afternoon, Mr. Felix. Um, I can see you strong now. Oh, yeah, I feel better right now. Mm. I was told you at the doctor um, that gave me a second chance to life. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for risking it all. Mm. Um, I'm no, actually no, no, grateful. No, don't worry, don't worry. Save your strength, okay? <sighs> Attending to you is the right thing for me to do. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I will call you my personal savior after Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> um, sorry, please. I would like to check your vitals. Oh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, thank you, nurse. You can go now. Um, sorry, if you don't mind, how did you sustain the knife injury? <sighs> no, 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 no way. <sighs> this woman can't possibly be dying. Pointed the gun at me for for some seconds. He told me not to fall into the hands of my enemies. He said I'm the only one standing on his way. He said I should leave for my family. And then he hurried out of the kitchen. This is a miracle. Indeed. It is. What were you thinking attempting to commit suicide? You want to end your life and end the family name? We are yet to recover from what happened to your family. And you're doing this. I begged him to kill me. I begged him to send me to the place he sent my family to. I just wanted to die. I, I'm tired of living. I, I know. <laughs> you will not die. Amen. Your family name will not die. Amen. You will leave and put the enemy to shame. Uh, don't, don't talk like that. Did you see his face? Who are you, Max? Honey, we need to report this to the police immediately. Yes. The person that killed Daniel and his family is still after Ami. We need to do this as fast as possible. <clears throat> Did he say who this enemy is? He only said I'm the one standing up this way. I mean, you're not going back to that house until that devil is apprehended. Okay, later in the day, I'm, I'm going to go to the police station and make an entry. But in the meantime, you will be here until we are sure of your safety. Yeah. It's all right. Mask, are you mad? I sent you to do a job. And you went there and tried to betray me. What were you thinking? That lady should be left alone. I don't care whatever beef you have with anybody or whosoever. But she should be left out of it. I don't understand you. Are you sure you are a hitman or just some clown in a funny costume? Why do you tell me who to eliminate? Your job is to pull the trigger. And not tell me how to choose my targets. Here's the money you gave to me. What are you doing? A little of it spent for some expenses. She's off limits. Listen. 
listen to me. So, you're taking sides with the target. All right. I'll double your pay. Look, I cannot guarantee you the safety of your family if anything happens to the woman. She is off limit. Ah, so good to be back home. I don't know why you insisted on coming back so soon. It's just three weeks. You should have stayed a little longer. Until we are sure of your entire safety. Auntie. Uh, I'm safe now, okay? Sorry. I know what your major worry is. Is that I might try to harm myself again. No, I won't. I've left that place. I'm no longer there, I promise. <laughs> Though I'm still very much hurt from the loss of my family. But don't worry, I'm learning to adjust to the new reality. I'm glad to hear you say that. You know you can always count on us. If and whenever you need anything, we'll be there for you. Okay? Thank you. Make sure you lock up this house very well anytime you enter. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes, Auntie. <laughs> All right, thank you, Auntie. All right. All right. <laughs> Talking about doors, I think I need to open my windows because I really like coming from you. Woo! <laughs> this is so beautiful. Mm. Until now, let me just drop my bag and get you something to drink. All right, all right, now come in. I'm so sorry for calling out your name like that. I've been trying to reach out to you. Uh, I don't get. Do I know you? Have we met? Ah, uh, um, um, you're Doctor Amanda Daniels, right? Ah, uh, yeah. I was the person that um, they brought into the hospital that was stabbed in the stomach. Yeah, I at Almond Hospital. Um, not really, but I remember treating cases, few cases like that. Okay, I know. Um, you actually saved my life. And um, I've been searching for you everywhere. I even went back to Almond Hospital and you were not there. Oh, I, I don't work there anymore. But I'm glad you made it through. Well, why are you searching for me? I have been looking for a way to reach out to you, at least to show my appreciation. To say thank you, I've been searching. I couldn't find you at the hospital, but at least I can still be here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I'm glad you made it through, and um, I appreciate your gratitude. Thank you. Um, can I have your number? Please. Why? So I I could get to call you. I just want to be friends. Please. Uh Okay, sorry, what's your name again? Felix. Okay, Mr. Felix. And... Okay, fine, I'll just... Thank you. All right, then. All right, I'll give you a call. All right, thank you. Right, good to see you. <laughs> Same here. Good to see you. All right, bye, Mr. All right, bye. Felix. Bye. <laughs>
Ami, this will give you the time and the space that you need to manage the hospital, which I know you have in-depth knowledge of. Uncle, I haven't decided what to do concerning anything yet. I just want to properly mourn my family before I can decide on what to do with whatever it is they left behind. You see, this decision doesn't need too much time and thinking to do. If we wait for too long, we'll give room to outsiders to scavenge the shares that your family left behind for you. As it stands now, a trusted member of the family needs to sit at the helm of the affairs of this company. And you are the only surviving child of this nuclear family. And that responsibility falls on you. Uncle, we have competent staff that are working really hard. They can sustain it until, I, until I'm capable of making this decision. Right now, I'm not in the right frame of mind to think. I just want to pull my thoughts together, heal from all this, so that I can make this decision. On second thoughts, I think you're right. You know, these thoughts, this kind of decision doesn't need to be rushed. You understand me? Um, but if you wait for too long, the company may suffer. You, you see, that's why I am suggesting that you transfer your father's shares into my name in the meantime. But of course, on a temporary basis, whenever you are ready, I will hand them over to you. Uh, you see, we can't afford to allow this company in the hands of outsiders. Oh. Uh, Auntie. Welcome. Thank you, babe. How are you? I'm fine. Oh, no, 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 just sex, don't worry. Uh, I didn't know you were coming. Yes, Uncle called me. He said he wanted us to have a discussion. Hi, honey. Mm. Welcome. See that. I didn't know you were going to take so long to come back. I'm just going around to make sure that stops. Okay. Mm. So, Uncle, as I was saying, I, I will think about it and then get back to you. You should. This is a very serious issue. Okay? Yes, Daniels, you must be very careful. Who is this? The wolf is not resting yet, and he is out for blood. Do not trust anyone. Are you the one that came to kill me in my kitchen today? Are you the one that murdered my family? Trust no one. He is closer than you know. Hello? Hello? I was only trying to
protect her and what Daniel left behind. We have to be careful so that uh, outsiders do not devour his assets. But that was so soon. We are still in the period of mourning. It sounds like you're waiting for that to happen. How can you say that? Tell me, when did looking out for my brother's family become a crime? All I am saying is that it can be misinterpreted. How do you think it will sound if Amin didn't trust us? It's barely three months since the demise of our family. And you're already asking that the family's asset be relinquished. 90%? Ah, oh, that's not fair. Temporary. I told her, temporary. I mean, as, as soon as she is ready, I am going to hand them back to her. <laughs> look, look. We can't afford to allow outsiders to cut away the assets of that company. Nothing will happen to anything. I don't think Ami is a novice when it comes to handling her father's business. I remember Daniel made her take a course in business management. Let's go to sleep. Okay. Hey, that's, that's the way you see it. <laughs> I'm happy you agreed to come up to visit out. I really enjoyed your company. <laughs> Same here. I enjoyed it. I think I was actually regretting letting you have my number. Wait, no way. Wait, you were regretting letting me have your number? Kinda. At some point. Huh. Because you kept bombarding me with calls. And usually I don't like calls. Especially when I'm being pressured. <laughs> but you can always call me now. But that was because you were not picking up your calls. But okay. I'm going to stop the bombardment according to you. Mm. Yes. And no, you don't have to. Keep calling me, okay? As you wish. Just because now we're not friends and I enjoy your company, so it's, it's okay. Okay, thanks for your permission, anyways. Uh, I'll get to do this some other time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, let me just drop you in, okay? Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. <laughs> It was a private number. His voice was contorted. And uh, the enemy is closer than you know. He said I should be careful and trust no one. He used he for the enemy. That means whoever is doing this is a man. But who is this color? And why did he warn you? I asked him if he was the one that shot my family. He ended the call. But I know he was the same person who came into my house. But what I don't understand is, why is he playing the good guy? I suspect he will call again. And when he does, beg him to reveal the identity of the enemy he talked about. We have to apprehend that devil's incarnate. <sighs> Ami, you have to be extremely careful. Always go home early. And as soon as you get home, make sure the doors and windows are properly locked. Fine. I'm going to take you home, Amin. So let me just get my car keys. Okay, then. 
<clears throat> Don't worry, it'll be fine, okay? I can't let him continue. It is a matter of time before he exposes me. And if he does that, I'm finished. So what do you want? Silence him forever. I want him gone. <laughs> You, you mean you want mask gone? Of course. You want me to silence mask? Wow. Let me ask you a question. Can you silence a ghost? Mr. Benga. I do not know who mask is. And nobody does. If you have any personal beef with Mask, I would advise you to go and sort it out amicably with him. Else, you lose. <laughs> Why does this sound to me like you are scared of him? Tell me. Afraid to take on mask. Mr. Agbenga, you cannot take on whom you don't know. Mask is invincible. Very well then. What about finishing off the girl? The heat is off and the police is off this case. So I want you to finish off. Okay. Send me your details and my balance. You hear from me. It's all right. Hold on. Uh -huh. Hold on. Ha. Uh, uh, Touch markets, Joe. Wait, calm down. Continue. Duh. Let <laughs> me cut you off. The acting. Play now. Do you have to know? Hold on. I'm coming for you first. Pick two. Touch markets, Joe. Mm, Call wow. that two. Nice two, 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 two. Uh -huh. uh, continue. Because you women, you women, mm -hmm. you know to do what you're too much. Ah, you like talking too much. Okay. Is that all you got? Of course. Duh. Come, let me teach you how to play this is how it's done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you've actually been an amazing friend. Since I met you, you've been wonderful. Your friendship has helped me a whole lot. In living through the nightmare life threw at me. I'm glad you came through when you did. Thank you. But Felix, there's something I want to tell you. Okay. I'm not ready. Mentally and emotionally, I'm not, I'm not ready for a relationship presently. Please, I hope you understand. <clears throat> sure, <clears throat> sure I do. Yeah, I'm not in a haste. Okay, so you can take as much time as possible. All right. So and whenever she's ready, I'll still be here. You see. You're such an amazing person. Mm. <laughs> thank, thank you. You know, for a moment I was 
I was scared. <laughs> I was scared that you'd end the friendship because of what I said. Well, thank you for your understanding. No, no, it's it's fine. It's fine. But still, you owe me a dinner date. <laughs> yes, that's the bet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Who does that? Like, I'm here talking about something serious and you're talking about dinner. Who does that? That's because I love food. It's obvious. I can see that. <laughs> Say no more, huh? Uh, oh, excuse me. Hi, Uncle. Good evening. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm back home. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for checking up on me. Okay, I will. My regards to Auntie Shade. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That was my uncle. Mm. Yep, he called to check up on me and to ask if I was back home. Oh, that's so nice of him. He sure cares. Oh. Wait until you meet Auntie Shadi. She is amazing. Hmm. They both just want to protect me. Okay. All right, now let's um, play. Let me beat you if I leave. Huh, okay. You wish. We I beg you. Now. Let me see now. Play. It's more keto. Pick two, mother. More. Easy, easy. Pick two. Hello? Good evening. Mask, why are you interfering? Wait. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mask? Hello, Stone. Hold on. Hold, hold it. Hold on. Don't go in yet. Huh? No, 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 no. Don't do it yet. Come out. Stone, hello? Wherever you are, come out. I'm calling it off. Yes. No problem. No problem. Hello? Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss Daniels. You are whining and dining with your enemy. He is closer than you know. Keep the things I say to you to yourself. Your safety depends so much on that. 
um, sorry, who am I talking to? How am I supposed to believe you're not the one after my life? Uh, they call me Mask. Boy, you can call me your personal guardian angel. If I wanted you gone, I would have shot you right in the kitchen. I believe you remember. Okay. Let's assume you're saying the truth. Why are you interested in saving me? <laughs> they say some people are too valuable to humanity to be left unprotected. You are one of the valuable ones. Please. Who is this my enemy? Why can't you just tell me so I can avoid the person? In due time, I will reveal his identity if need be. I will prefer to deal with him personally, but for now, keep yourself as safe as much as possible. Keep whatever I tell you to yourself. Tell no one, not even your shadow. Did you kill my family? The killer is right before you. Good night. Chief. Are you sure there is no one else in the house? No, no. Everyone has gone out. What are you really saying about the wheel? Can't you manipulate things in our advantage? Chief, Daniel was a very meticulous man. He didn't leave his will in the written form. He left it in the video. There is no tempering of such documentary. He willed everything to his family and instructed them to share as please. Imagine that. A fool deserved to die. But he didn't even will anything to me. After all, he stole everything he got from me. Listen to me, I have no regrets eliminating him. Don't say it out loud. Chief, the words have... I don't care! Alex. Yes, Chief. I know you have a copy of the video. Can't you doctor this thing? After all, these days, we have technologies uh, that can handle things like this. Chief, I have just a copy. He did so many copies of it. And I'm sure his daughter has one as well. Chief, that angle is a no-go area. Okay. What do we do then? I thought we agreed on taking her out of the way. Just like we did to the others. Why is she still alive? Things became complicated. That hitman I sent to kill her suddenly became her protector. Do you know what? He even threatened to kill my family. So I thought it wise to mellow things down for now. Seriously? What happened? So didn't you pay him adequately? Of course I paid him. I don't really know what happened. But I know everything was going smoothly as planned. Suddenly, the hitman began to develop conscience. The sad part of it is that he's the most powerful of them all. Even his colleagues dread him. So, Alex, I think the only card we have right now is to see how we can persuade Amanda to relinquish her father's shares of the company to me, at least temporarily. So I will need you to help me achieve that. You know, she respects and trusts you as her father's counsel. Yes, Chief. I hope you understand me. 
I've heard all you said, Chief. I'll walk towards that. Okay. Someone mistook my car for some persons today at the shopping mall. I guess the person wanted to drop a surprise message. What do you mean by someone mistook your car for another person's? When I came out of the shopping mall, I saw a paper fixed under my wiper blade. What did the paper say? It's something about security. Oh, I think I have it in my bag. Yes, I said it. Something about security. Here. Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people drive um, similar cars. Well, it hurts to see that the original owner will not get to see it. Well, such is life. <sighs> awesome. Ah. Uh? Awesome. In truth. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mm, so nice. Uh -huh. You know, I've been thinking, yeah. Uh -huh. My dad's lawyer. He advised that um, it's the right thing to do. But deep down. I have my own reservations. You know, whoever that owns my father's shares mm -hmm. automatically owns the company. True. It's not like I don't trust my uncle, but... Well, look, I don't trust him. Yes, I don't trust his intentions. You can't just relinquish the right to your father's company to him like that. Why, why do you say that? See, what if it takes your father's company forever? I think you can just, you know, make him the chairman of the company. That way, your father's chair still stays in his name. Mm. You know, I still think what your faceless boyfriend said is true. You shouldn't trust anyone, not even your shadow. But I told you everything and said I shouldn't tell anyone. Well, that's because I'm not anyone. I am Felix, your ally. <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I think um, it's time you check your father's will. At least you could perhaps, you know, get one or two clues there. <sighs> Seriously speaking, I'm not ready for that reality. It's always painful whenever I try to. Look, I understand. Yes, I truly do. But the truth is, something has to be done. The sooner you get done with it, the better you face reality and move ahead. Speaking of boyfriends, there's something I want to tell you. Okay. What is it? I have a gift for you, but you have to close your eyes. No way. Yes, wait. Uh, no, yes, don't wait. Do this. <laughs> close my eyes. Yes, you have to close. Or else I won't give you the gift. Okay. So close your eyes. Okay. Don't open your eyes though. All right. Oh. oh, wow. Yeah, that's the gift. What was that for? I think it's time to tell you how I feel. Okay, so does that mean we are... Um... I don't know, you better, you better get out of my car <laughs> before I change my mind. Okay, 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 okay. I'll leave, I'll leave, I'll leave. All right, so. No way, come here. <laughs> it 
Since you don't want this job done, what sort of rubbish was that? Why did you pull me out? If you know you don't want this job done, why did you contract me? There is nothing I want more than eliminating this girl. Then why did you pull me out? Because he knew you were there. Who? Mask. He threatened my family. He knows their names one by one. He went as far as placing a note on the on, on my wife's uh, car wiper blade. He has them under his watch. As long as he's around, my family is all safe. You need to understand this. How could he possibly know I was there? Mr. Benga. Who else know about my mission? Nobody. See. I want this job done. I'm going to pay you three times more than what I promised you the, 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 the other time. Seems you don't understand. It seems you don't get it. Nobody knows who he is or where to find him. I can't even find him myself, even if I decide to take on him. What if I decide to lure him out? Can you finish him? Can you lure him out? Of course. I can bring him to any place of your choice. And then you can lay an ambush and, and, and then finish him off. But can you do that? My lovely people, I know by the time you see this, I must have left this world to another. I implore you all heartily not to hurt so much over my absence. Death is the essence of life, for we live to die. This video is the testament of my will. I make it in good health, in sound mental state and without any coercion from anybody. Therefore, I'm making it willingly. Now, I will all I have equally to all the members of my nuclear family. They are Mrs. Olufemi Mercy Daniels, my wife. Miss Amanda Abidemi Daniels, my daughter. And Mr. Tunde Daniel Daniels, my son. <laughs> they are to inherit everything I have at equal rights and share amongst them in any way they deem fit. Here are the list of my assets I have and their locations. Number one, 30 million shares in Daniel Group PLC. 10 billion Naira in End Time Banks and Affin Bank.
So, Uncle, I have thought about the company and the shares my dad left behind. Okay. You know, it's been eight months now since the death of my family. And the company is doing just fine. I don't think there's any need to transfer the shares. Rather, I want to make you the chairman of the company. That way you can, you can manage it the way you please. You've always wanted to manage it. So you're saying that the shares will still be in your possession? Yes, sir, for now. This is a brilliant idea. Blood doesn't lie, indeed. You inherited the genius brain of your father. Thank you, Auntie. That's a bad idea. Oh, well, I, I do earnestly hope that uh, it will give us the grip that we need. Yeah, it's, it's all experimental. But there's always room for adjustment. Of course. <laughs> so, how's the hospital? Run? Yes, it is going well, sir. Good, good, good. You are indeed a daughter to be proud of. I'm sure your parents will smile when they look down on how you are taking care of the family business. Thank you. Um, uh, that, that's, that reminds me. The mystery man, has he called you again? No, 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 sir. No, he hasn't. Okay. That's all right. Uh, thank you. Oh, Jim, that girl is way smarter than I had thought. Her decision is brilliant. How did she come up with such a decision? Are you sure someone is not advising her? No, no. I don't believe there is anyone. You know, the Daniels are just unknowingly intelligent. You know Daniel because you worked for him. Yes, Chief. And how smart he was when he was alive. Apple, they say, does not fall far from his tree. I can't stop admiring the brilliance in her decision. Alex, I'm not here to discuss her brilliance. My concern now is this, as a lawyer, what does it mean to us? Chief, on the brighter side, on the brighter side, it gives us a very close access to monitor the affairs of the company. Chief, you might find a loophole and then you would take over. <laughs> I thought you were very smart. With 90% of the shares of the company in her possession, you should know that that's next to impossible. Don't you know that? So what about the other plan? How is it going? <sighs> I'm on top of the game. Now, let me tell you. With what I have mapped out, she and her self-employed protector, listen to me, they're going to be dealt with soon. I'm going to take care of that. Oh, that's a good one, Chief. Then you need not to worry about how decision making. See, what I got me is how smart that young girl plays. Imagine Amanda of just yesterday. Yet she is playing at the tables of elders. That's very insulting. <laughs> <coughs> Alex, What's up? this is a very serious issue. What's funny? Oh, sorry, sir. Okay. Now, you listen to me very well. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. 
Ja, det er lige det, Mm. You know, I told you that my uncle and his wife are all about my happiness. Mm hmm. I to see the way they were just praising me for coming up with such a brilliant idea. My own idea. <laughs> so you stole my accolade. What? Why don't I ask you to follow me to come and tell them yourself? What did you say? You refused so. No, I don't want to meet them now. But that doesn't exonerate you. You're still mm. a dubious girlfriend. Mm. Uh -huh. Loved by a wonderful boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, babe, um, tell me, what are you going to do when you find out the identity of the enemy? I mean, the person who called the heat on your family. I'll make them pay. I'll make him pay for what he did to my family. I'll make sure he pays for the pains I am feeling ten times over. And what if there's someone very close to you? Whosoever he is. I'll make sure it is the words of the girl whose family was sent to an early grave. And how do you plan on doing that? I don't know yet. But I'll make sure I keep my family the justice they deserve, even if it costs my life. Oh, no, no, babe, look. Nothing is going to happen to you, okay? I will be by your side. All through. I will be your personal guardian angel. What is it? Um, nothing. That line sounds familiar. Um, come here, my girl. Why am I here? You have been a stumbling block on my way. All of this time, for whatever reasons. Name your price and get out of my way. Let me pay. Shit! for your call. I have a question for you. I need your help. I have been short and I'm bleeding out. You're the only one I can trust. What do you mean? You're a surgeon. Please save my life. I don't have much time. How am I sure this is not a trap? Your enemy is also mine. You did this to me. I am the only hope of you finding out who killed your family. Save me and I will tell you all you need to know. How do I get to you? Hello, Alex. It worked perfectly. It was a close range shooting. Yeah. His, his corpse will be discovered tomorrow. By tomorrow, yes, yes, yes. 
that little rascal has no one to protect her now. I'm going to finish her off and take what rightfully belongs to me. So, get ready to become a member of the company's board of directors. No! It won't take that long. Within the next few days, it would have been over. <laughs> sure, sure. A congratulations is in order. It's also your victory. So, congratulations to both of us. <laughs> yes, 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 you should. All right, see you tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, good night. Felix. Felix, you're Max. Was that what I think it is? Could he be talking about Amanda? He was talking to Alex. What other company could they be talking about? No, no. Minga couldn't have been behind what happened to Daniel and his family. He couldn't have been referring to Ami. But he talked about someone being shot and his corpse being found. Could it? Did he kill someone? What's really happening? Stopped. Are you alright? Uh, yes, yes. I'm fine. I'm Are you fine. sure? Yeah.
will come back, Felix. Or should I call you Max instead? Ah. Uh. Uh. You saved my life once more. You are indeed my guardian angel. Who sent you to kill my family? I will call the police. And it will only take them a few minutes to get here. Start talking now. Who are you? And what are you doing here? My name is Felix Adams. My street name is Gold Mask. I was sent to kill you, but I turned out to be your protector. I was the same person you saw in your kitchen the day you wanted to kill yourself. Who sent you to kill me? And why are you protecting me? You're too valuable to humanity. I can kill the one lady that gave me a second chance at life. You know, I prayed earnestly that you wouldn't go through with the suicide the other night. And thank God you didn't. Fine. Your uncle Bingo sent me. He killed your family. He said um, your father stole something from him or whatever, I don't know. You're lying. <sighs> You're lying. Who sent you? Uh, so the truth will be told. I don't believe you. You can't fool me twice. You came to me as a friend. We made out. We slept on the same bed. You made me believe that you loved me. I should have known that you are the enemy. Who sent you to kill me? Amy, Amy, look. The enemy. I'm the only reason you're still alive till today. Your uncle sent different assassins after you. I was the one that stopped them. Okay. One of them even did this to me. If you kill me now, you eliminate the only protection you have. I did not kill your family. No. You're lying! Oh. Who sent you? Talk to me, who sent you? Mm. You don't talk. You have at the count of three. One! Two! Three! Wait, 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 wait. Where's my phone? My phone, where's my phone? 
I recorded the last conversation I had with him. It's my phone. Don't move. Don't, don't, don't move. Don't, don't, don't move. I sent you to do a job and you went there and tried to betray me. What were you thinking? That lady should be left alone. I don't care whatever beef you have with anybody whatsoever, but she should be left out of it. I don't understand you. Are you sure you are a hitman or just some clown in a funny costume? Ooh. Your job no. is to pull the trigger. Oh no! No! It's can't be no! 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 no, no. I saw you and Alex in the compound, standing under the sun. Yes. We were having a discussion. He didn't come inside the house. Is the discussion so suffocating that you have to stay in the open and under the sun? in a hest. <clears throat> so I thought it wise to go outside and see him. Oh. Well, honey, that is not enough reason to stand <coughs> on. <coughs> that reminds me, I haven't seen Amanda for some time now. Have you heard from her? Is she all right? She's fine. We spoke yesterday. She has been busy with work. You have a number. If you don't see her, you should call her. I have been meaning to do that. But it's okay. I'll do that today. I'll be better. So all this while, the monster has been under my nose. He was playing the perfect uncle after killing my family. he be so wicked? How could I have been so blind? You won't have known. 
he played his cover so perfectly. <sighs> Look, what we should be talking about now is how to get him down. I need a gun. Get me a gun. Oh. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, no way, no. Look. Mm. That's not a solution. Besides, you're not a murderer. The person you're talking about here is very dangerous. my parents felt. I want to pump in as many bullets inside of him. I want him to suffer. <sighs> suffer the same fate my parents did. I know how you feel. I truly know how you feel. But that will be giving him a simple way out. If you do that, people would not know what you've done. They will only assume the same people that murdered your family did the same thing to him. I don't, care. I don't care. I want him dead. You swore to make his life a living hell. So do that. How? Evidence. You have evidence. Just get more, get more evidence. Disgrace him. Send him away for good. You're talking about multiple homicide here. He won't leave to finish the life sentence. Think. Any news on him? None yet. I'm sure he's not coming back. He's done with. Are you sure? Look, I don't want anything bouncing back on my family. Mr. Benga, have you ever been shot before? No. And believe me when I tell you he's not coming back. I was around the house and I monitored everything that transpired over there. Has he reached out to you? No. No? No. Tell me what you want. You already know what I want. I want that girl eliminated completely. Consider it done then. Come out. All right, Stony Boy. <laughs> That's a man. It's right.
Hey, 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 soldier, easy. Don't you dare. Don't you. If I slit your throat, it will take approximately 90 seconds for your brain to die. Now drop the gun. Drop the gun! Drop it! Amy! Amy, come out! Don't even play. It's a smart move. Amy! Pick up the gun. Pick the gun up. Pick it up. Hey, 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 hey. Now, point it to the left chest like I taught you. Point it. Stop. Your hands up. Who sent you? Who ordered you to kill her? I could not answer that. Let me handle the depressed story, okay? Alright. Easy. <coughs> I'm gonna ask you for the very last time. <laughs> Who ordered you to kill her family? <laughs> Who ordered you to kill her family? <laughs> Brigger. Your uncle, Chief Brigger. <laughs> He ordered for the heat. What are you going to do? I mean, what are you going to do about your uncle? I can't believe this. I can't believe this is happening. How could uncle think I'd be so heartless? Huh? What exactly was stolen from him? What? What was stolen from me that is, that is what's the lives of my family? Okay. Look, the truth is that people make flimsy excuses to commit evil. But this is not about what was stolen from him or what was taken from him. It's just sadism and jealousy. To the point of killing his own blood. His own flesh and blood. <laughs> Look. This is not what we should be talking about now. What we should be talking about is how to get a hold of him. He has been calling his assassin and if he doesn't pick, uh, this is going to be a serious problem. What do we do?
Hi, Auntie. Good afternoon. Please come in. I'm fine. And you and the family at home, Hardy? We're fine. Okay. We've been worried about you. You haven't visited in a while, so I thought I should check on you. Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. I've been extremely busy with work these days, and I, I promise I'll come see you guys. So. <laughs> Good afternoon, Mom. Um, Auntie, this is um, Felix, my friend. Felix, my uncle's wife, Auntie Shadi. Oh, um, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mom. That's a pleasure. Can I talk to you in private? <laughs> no, 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 Auntie, um, it, it's fine. You can tell me whatever it is you want to tell me in front of him. I trust him. Yes, don't worry. Go on. Okay. I think you have to be more careful. If possible, leave town for a while. Why? I have a feeling there is going to be an attack on you. Uh, same people that attacked your parents. The enemy cannot be resting. Uh, do you know them? Uh, no, uh, no. I just have this feeling. You don't want to tell me, or you're scared of telling me that your husband is planning on killing me the same way he killed my family? How did you know? Right. Well, I suspected it, but how did you get to know about it? Come with me. Come. Look at the criminal your husband sent to eliminate my family. Just look at him. Your husband sent him to come kill me in my own house. All thanks to Felix, who captured him. Oh no. This is not true. This can't be happening. Binga. Do you know what my father stole from your husband that made him kill them? I 
I am not sure. But I think uh, it was because of your land. What land? Your father bought a land from Benga. That Froster knew that the land was rich with deposits of nickel. That was why he took it off my hand speedily. Now see how much he has made from it. I am going to take back that land and everything that he has made. I must. I wonder why you are angry that Daniel is prospering. That man made you and I. What we are. And he hasn't stopped. His win is our win. But that's not the point. I didn't know he would go to this extent. I thought he had forgotten. So, so Uncle King, Uncle King killed my family because of a piece of land. A piece of land. I thought he was a nice man. Why is he so heartless? I even look up to him. Why? I know, Mommy. I am so sorry. I'm sorry that you have to go to, through this horrible experience because of my husband's wickedness. I do not have a hand in it. I would have done something long ago at a slighter suspicion. Please, dear. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. I hold nothing against you. You chose evil. But it's not your fault, okay? If there's any way you want my help, so he can pay for the crimes he committed, let me know. Okay. Do you, your testimony against him will go a long way. Why did you kill your brother? Why did you kill his wife and son? Why did you try to kill me? What did he do to you? Amanda, are you alright? I don't understand you. You have to pull yourself together. Was it because of the piece of land? The piece of land I overheard you and my dad arguing about years back? Was that why you killed him? Was that why you killed my whole family? I mean, I think you need medical examination. I suggest you talk to some of your colleagues. No, she is perfectly fine, you devil. You are a monster. All this while I thought you'd been pretending to look out for her. You killed your own blood brother. For what? A land he bought from you legitimately. Are you two okay? Are you two okay? I think you need to see a psychiatrist. Oh, really? Yes. Now listen to this. Are you mad? I sent you to do a job. And you went there and tried to betray me. What were you thinking? A lady she Officer! I don't care what it will be if you have it anybody. You are under arrest for the murder of Ms. Kakolade Daniels, Mrs. Olufemi Daniels, and Mr. Tunde Daniels, and the attempted murder of Mrs. Amanda Daniels here. 
you have the right to remain silent for anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. However, you have a right to an attorney or if you wish, you can get an attorney for yourself too. Officer, move him! I'll move, I'll move you. <laughs> now that um everything is over, um I'm sure you won't be needing the guardian angel. So what will you do with me? I actually haven't thought about that. But Felix, knowing you is the best gift I got from life recently. That Felix. made me live through the pains of losing my family. And you give me a reason to smile again. Oh, Max. What am I supposed to do with a known hit man? Who has caused other families pain? I have done things I'm not proud of. I've caused people pain and hardship. Oh. Max, Max, that today, today I saw you with a knife over your wrist. I came in as Max, but I left as Felix. I've never been Max since that day. Look, there is no absolution to the things I have done. Hey, you changed me. Amy, you gave me a brand new life. You showed me instantly the beauty of humanity. <sighs> Thank you for taking care of me. I guess this is goodbye. Felix, my guardian angel, I love you. 